Anna isn't giving up. She believes in me, believes in us, and for a good reason. Thousands of kilometers of track behind us. We are finally approaching Novosibirsk, a dead city concealing her hope for life, the medicine that could save her, somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow, and now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Back to Savannah. Bridges are undamaged, and the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there'll be no nutcases this time. Hmm. The houses are undamaged, too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artyom? Follow me! Good luck. You can rely on us. The situation here looks more complex than we thought. Still, time is short, so we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Yurimak! We'll take the Aurora south to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Uh, I'm Martin. Stepan! Krist, Sam, Idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akadem Gorodok. We'll pay a visit to the Railroad Museum on the way. There might be something Alyosha. for the Aurora. There. I'm staying to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, Spartans. Good, Good luck. luck. Good luck. on a mission to save Aunt Anna? Yes. Um, could you please watch over her for us until Artyom and I come back? Please? Of course. Teddy and I will be her guard. Will you help me, Teddy? Private Teddy, mission acknowledged. Goodbye, Uncle Don't worry about Aunt Anna. Teddy and I will watch over her. She's sleeping. Are you leaving? Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. Hannah is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. Come in, Artyom. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now.
Come back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. Your gear, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Artyom, this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. You ready? We are. So, Artyom, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. Saddle up. You keep overwatch. I'll be busy watching the road. It's not squeaky clean, I'm sure. Good luck, gentlemen. We are her last hope now. evacuation, I presume. Let's try to get into the square behind the station. Metro entrance should be there. All right. Walking here would be easier, but we should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. We're definitely not entering the metro through here. Too much snow. Take the wheel, Artyom. I'll handle the navigation. We'd better use the map here. No time for driving in circles. All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. This road should get us to the city center. Take it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. Oh, so much snow. And the storm is getting worse by the minute. Uh, weird feeling. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? Okay, turn right. There's nowhere else to go. Try the courtyard on the left. Mind the car, Artyom. Don't rush it. We're done for if we get stuck. Go straight here. Careful, Artyom. Careful. The weather is still getting worse, as well as the radiation. We can't stay here. There! That way is 
should take us back to the main road. God damn it! Another car pile! It seems like a tank passed through here. Let's follow it. Damn. I hope the car could take us further. We'll have to walk from here. And I'll have to be quick. The radiation's rising. Finally here. Let's find a way to the city center. Through the carriage. I'll help you open that. Let's do this. Skeletons all around. These have been here for at least 20 years. Let's move on, and keep your eyes peeled. These guys can't hurt us, but the survivors might. We need to get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here. Though we've already taken at least triple the norm up there. The tunnels. This is just like back home. We're in our element here. <laughs> what do you know? The air is breathable. Mutants again! Going to have a go at us. Let them try, I say. <laughs> the straightway is blocked. Take a look around, Artyom. We need to get into the tunnel next to ours. Related to the mutants from back home. And this metro is crawling with them. I guess we can handle this. What do these things even eat here? Not people, that's for sure. Yeah. 
more than a long time ago. Look around here, Arsium. We might find something useful. But don't worry, they're going to start hacking the radio protector out. Am I supposed to give that green shit to my kids? Don't give me that. The green stuff is better than any filters you could get. As I said, don't worry. You'll just have to take it for a couple of months until the situation gets better. And now, let's talk about this later. Okay, let's do that. Good. So. That's how they were surviving. Due to that green stuff, that radio protector the military issued. And then their stores ran dry. But the radiation was still there. And that was it. Damn. Another dead end. The bridge is down. There are usually two levels in such collectors. Let's try to get through down there. We could squeeze through here. Reminds one of that execution pit in Moscow, doesn't it? 8,000 kilometers later, and we're at an execution pit again. I wonder if they were called spies too. a year ago at most. There might still be survivors. Stay at the ready. Come up and watch out. What could have happened here? It doesn't seem like a war at all. Artie, are you okay? Lucky as always. This isn't our metro. We've nobody to help us here if anything happens. You break a leg, you crawl back to the Aurora alone. I can't turn back before I find that medicine. Let's move. Just watch where you're going from now on, huh? We've lost enough time already. That leads to the tunnel. at any moment. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this dust. <laughs> Seems solid enough. Let's go. in 
space station's outskirts. <laughs> Wait, I'll pop a flare. Damn. This was war after all. Defending with these armored trolleys, and when those were taken out, they blew the tunnel up. The reinforcements never arrived. <laughs> Let's go to this station. We might find something out there. Ah, our old pal, the Dushka. A full blown siege. The defenders were protecting the station entrance. There were quite a few survivors here. Until they killed each other off. Looks like that lie in Moscow did work after all. What is better, I wonder? Life built on a lie? Or death born out of truth? What? I feel... Uh, strange. Come on! We walked right into their lair! So much dust. Abandoned a long time ago. something useful. Hmm. 
All of the metro systems were built similarly, so there should be a ventilation well here. Forward from here, we should get into the ventilation tunnel, and from there, to the next track tunnel. Nothing to fear. We just want to talk. Come <laughs> out, boy. Enough hiding. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> oh, grab him, Artyom. Stop. Where do you think you're going? Finally. Why did you run? Come on, speak up, soldier. Identify yourself. Private Kriel Klebnikov, Oskom, Rapid Response Unit. And you won't get another word from me, so you can kill me now. Klebnikov? All right, Private. We mean no harm to anyone. Just take us to your commanding officer. What do you mean you mean no harm? I'm from Oskom. I deal with them. I don't know who you mean by that, but if they kill children, we're definitely against them. So, you can take us to your commander. Mm, why do you want to see him? We're on an important mission, details of which may only be disclosed to ranking officers. You just have to take us to them. Besides, you don't really have much choice. All right. No monkey business, mind you. This way! The station's nearby! Which station is it? Which? It's Prospect, of course! 
just one section to the Institute. We're close, our team. Wait. All clear. Come on. Wait. You said you were close. But why do you need the Institute? <laughs> you are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. Mission to the Institute? But there's no more green stuff left there. Green stuff? Uh, what's that? You don't know? Wait, which station are you from? Artyom is from the exhibition, and I'm from Polis. Huh? Where is that? It's in Moscow, soldier. Wait! Just like old times! And we're done here. Private Plednikov! You can come out now. Hey! Where did you go? Did he just run? How are we supposed to find him now? We shouldn't have taken eyes off him. I'm here! Oh, he's alive! <laughs> it was only a couple of mutants. Are you really from Moscow? We are. I'm Colonel Miller. Leader of a special task force. Artyom here is one of my subordinates. We came from Moscow on a train. Wow, this is cool. Wait a second, I'll open the gate. Rioters. We had a war here, you see. We noticed that. you got here. Where is everyone? Dead's on a mission, and there's nobody else. Not since the war, anyways. Oh, so the city was tough enough to live through the nuclear war, but not the civil one. How long has it been just the two of you? Uh, almost a year. We are lucky. Had a whole box of green stuff. Like the rich guys. Wait. 
Ortium, its satellite map. This is the valley where Alyosha and you got lost. Hmm. Where did you get this from, Private? Stokers brought it from the SATCOM Center a long time ago. So your father's on a mission? When is he coming back? I don't know. When did he leave? A month back, and he's been off the air for the last three weeks. I see. Do you know where he went? What was the mission? He went to that SATCOM center. We were going to leave the city in the spring. He went to go get the impact map. He said, we're sure to find a clear place if we get one. Got it. Private, we need to use your radio. Artyom, let's contact the Aurora. I'm going to get that map, and we should tell them. Do you read me, Aurora? Miller here. Colonel, read you loud and clear. How did you get on the air? A change of plans. We found the survivors. They say the SATCOM center is still there. I'm going there for the map. Artyom takes the Institute. Copy that, Colonel. How is Anna doing? Try to make haste there. Katya says Anna's going to have another attack soon, and she's way too weak. Come again, Aurora! Over! Do you copy, Aurora? Over! Damn! Static again! Artyom, if his father had really found a clean place, this is a chance for Anna, for the boys, for all of us! A chance to have a real life. I'll go get that map. Meet me here once you recover the medicine. Then we'll Wait, go get the you car. can't go outside with that anti-rad. We still have three left. Dad was saving them for our escape from the city. Great, thank you. Artyom, get geared up in the meantime. Look, there's even a workbench here. By the way, you can take my railgun if you want. Might be of more use where you're going. Don't forget the ammo. Tell me when you're ready. Be another shelf. Tell me, Kirill. How did you and your father end up the only survivors? The green stuff. The anti-rat ran out. You can't survive without it. The fire stations rioted. The committee sent in soldiers. The war broke out. And then, some died in combat. Others in the fire. Not enough people to guard the entrances, so the mutants broke through everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm okay. Don't worry. Aha! Here it is! As far as I understand, that ventilation is our exit to the station. Yes, that one! Then, you go through the station. Then, take the right tunnel. This thing is simple. Just take a shot if you feel sick. Thank you. So, this is what had been keeping them all alive. Are you ready? Good luck. Remember why we are in this. The life of my daughter. Your wife is in your hands now. Now go.
Artyom. Artyom. Come on, wake up.
You, you didn't, didn't find, find it, my love. love. It's, it's all right. right. I, I know, know you tried. tried. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for, for you. you. I, I want, want you to be here when, when <coughs> you are here. here. So, so nice. Stay with me. Hold on. Son. In just a minute. You'll get better now. You found it, you did. <laughs> Don't you dare die on me now. Don't even think about it. What would I tell her then, huh? Soldier, no sleeping now. I did find you after all. Don't know how. <coughs> Stay with me, Artyom. again. Get up! Quick! He's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. It's just a straight drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but... He just... went out like this.
Can you drive? Hooray! We're moving again. He found the map! Said that was a true hero. And that he saved us all. On the way back, we got to jump like mutants. But then he shot them off. Bam! Right between the eyes. Then we got to the river. There were these worms, and deep water, so he carried me on the shoulders. Wow, so many cars! It's the moon, so beautiful.
forget how he's even alive. Artyom, can you hear me? Careful, everyone. He got irradiated badly. And I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The counter goes off the scale. <laughs> Hold on, Artyom. We'll fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya! What do we do? Tell us! <sighs> An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Hey, be positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Artyom. <gasps> no, you can't go to sleep now. How about we take a walk? <laughs> Staying underground grew old. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare die on us. Just don't you dare. You've got a whole life ahead of you. And kids! So fight for it. Fight! Why did you stop? Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you open that airlock at the botanical gardens? This place is much better. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet, not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I, I hope this old man's blood will do something about that, that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, my friend. Time to get some quality blood in that body of yours, eh? With this, ah, you'll be up in no time. Or I'll eat my own shoes, huh? Yeah. <sighs> Hear me, Artyom. You've got a wife you need to work on making kids with. And my fiancé is still in Moscow. We still have to stir some shit up back in the metro, so don't you fucking dare die here. Look, Artyom. Lake Baikal. Ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. I just... Just have to say... You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I... The old fool. I was simply afraid. Afraid of life, as I see now. Look! He's smiling! Smiling in his sleep! He even seems to say something. It's his fever talking. He's burning up. This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. <laughs> you were always ready. And I... Uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. <sighs> Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. Artyom, I beg you, don't die. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her, now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. <coughs> I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. A really stubborn one. 
Just like me. Like you. I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here forever. Could you arrange that for me? <laughs> and the most important thing, my time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up, lead them. Just remember that I created the order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye, Commander. Time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. The fever is subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. We found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Unanimously approved. So, what would your orders be, sir? I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. <laughs> 